Let's say you're writing a report or trying to make some slides for a talk and you want to find some nice images to use on that for on the internet. Um, so it's not really appropriate to use any image you find on the internet because you don't own the copyrights for those and most of them aren't available for, for free use. So in, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to search on Google for images that have licenses that allow you to reuse them for your own purposes with a, a few restrictions, but uh, I will go over what those are. So to start, I'm gonna go here to google.com and I'm going to search for something. So let's say I'm writing a report on the gravity anomaly. All right, so um, as usual, if I'm searching for images, I'm gonna click here on the images tab and, and there's a bunch of nice images that appear, but a lot of them I probably wouldn't be able to use legally if I want to make sure that, that I'm uh, obeying copyright law. To find images that I could use, I'm going to click here on Tools, and then under Usage Rights, I'm going to select Creative Commons Licenses. So what this does is it restricts the search only to images that have uh, uh, Creative Commons licenses applied which are often licenses that allow reuse of the material given a few conditions, such as you have to give attribution to the original author, uh, and sometimes you have to uh, make your image available under the same license. So for example, let's say I want to use this uh, EGM 2008 gravity anomaly figure from uh, Wikimedia Commons. And Wikimedia Commons is a great source for finding uh, Open, open licensed content. All right, so let's click on that and let's see where that takes us. Okay, so now I can download the original file if I want, uh, either as an SVG uh, or as a, a PNG in various resolutions. And the important information is down here where there's the author of this work. So in this case, it's a user called um, Kavit. And these are the license restrictions. So in this case, uh, it says that the copyright holder of this work publishes it under the license Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike, or um, most commonly referred to as CCBYSA. So the conditions for this is that if you use this image in your report, then you the, the only restriction is that you have to attribute the image to the original author, so you would say, uh, image by this author and also acknowledge that the license for this image is uh, CC by SA or CC BY SA or Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike. And if you do so, you're safe in the knowledge that you're not violating copyright law and you're using images that have been made for reuse. Okay. And on that note, if you make your own images and you feel like they might be useful for other people, sharing them on a site like Wikimedia Commons and assigning them an open license like CCBYSA or just a Creative Commons Attribution, which doesn't require uh, sharing the image, the a modified image with the same license. That, that is something that, that is good to do and it, it helps everyone. Okay, I hope you find, found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.